South Dakota rolled out the blaze orange carpet for Saturday's pheasant opener. Now some of the hunters are heading home. Kelloland's Travis Fossing tells us if they managed to bag their limit. The pheasant opener is a whirlwind weekend for hunters and communities big and small across South Dakota. We have all these people that are flying into Sioux Falls. You know, they're spending their money in rental cars and restaurants and lodging and apparel and supplies. So um, all that money is coming into our community. Matt Barthel works at Experience Sioux Falls and says it's all about making a lasting impression on hunters. They'll go home, they'll tell their friends or family about their experience here, and the ultimate goal is to, you know, have these guys come back here, maybe for its uh, an extended family vacation. We did great. We limited it out both days. Ed Rout is from Salem, Virginia. His party of eight hunts near Parkston. This was the best year we've had in 15 years. They had just a little bit of a shower. Uh, opening day that got just a little bit of moisture on the ground and it, it helped the dogs and we had a great time. You got 38 feathers Saturday and 38 Sunday. Steve Woodruff hails from Athens, Texas. He's been coming to South Dakota for 37 years and hunts near Carthage. That is a little town that's got one street and uh, one restaurant on one side and a bar and restaurant on the other side and a lot of, a lot of corn bins and that's about it. The out-of-state hunters were treated to a heavy dose of wind on opening weekend. Weather conditions, it was the driest year I've ever seen. It was so dry, it was hard to, the pheasants were hard to find. They were mostly around water. So what keeps Woodruff coming back? Friends are part of it, but mostly I just like seeing God's creation and there's nothing like a South Dakota sunset. In Sioux Falls, Travis Fossing, Kelloland News. The pheasant hunting season in South Dakota runs through January 31st. We've provided a link with key dates and a breakdown of last year's numbers under this story on Kelloland.com. And those hunters